A very pleasant morning to my dear children. Welcome back to English online class of Sri Gogulam Public School, Guru Ayur. I hope you all are safe and staying healthy at home children. Yes. Okay, let's start our today's session. Today we will discuss lesson 8 prepositions from our excellence in English grammar text. We all know that there are 8 parts of speech. Which are the 8 parts of speech children? They are nouns, pronouns, adjectives, verbs, adverbs, prepositions, conjunctions and interjections. We have already studied 5 parts of speech. Which are those 5 parts of speech? They are nouns, pronouns, adjectives, words and adverbs. And today we will study the 6th lesson or 6th parts of speech that is prepositions. Okay? Children, let me give you some examples for your better understanding. Let me start with examples so that you get a clear cut idea of the topic prepositions. Look at the first examples, children. He sat on the bench. Tom stood at the gate. The key is in my bag. See here, I have stressed some words in these sentences. Which are those words, children? In, on and at. I have stressed all these words in these sentences. And let's see what is the function of these words in, on and at in these sentences. Look at the first sentence. He sat on the bench. Here the function of the word on is to bring a relationship between two words. Which are two, those two words? He and bench. He is a pronoun and bench is a noun. Let's look at the next example. Tom stood at the gate. At. At is a preposition in that sentence. At brings a relationship between Tom and gate. Both Tom and gate are nouns. Look at the next example. The key is in my bag. Here in brings a relationship between my bag and the key. So in these sentences in, on and at are the prepositions because they bring a relationship between two words in a sentence. They try to relate or they relate noun or pronoun in the sentence to another words to another noun verb or adjective now let's define a preposition a preposition is a word that is used before the nouns it is used before the nouns look at the first example he sat on the bench bench is a noun so on is used before bench or before noun so a preposition is a word that is placed or that is used before nouns to bring a relationship between noun or pronoun to the other words in a sentence. I hope you understood what is a preposition children. Yes. Some of the common prepositions are in, on, at, from, till, until, above, below, under, up, down. All these are prepositions. There are many more prepositions. We will see it later. Children now let us look at the types of preposition. We are going to discuss the three common types of preposition. Preposition of time, preposition of place and preposition of direction. Okay. The first one preposition of time. Preposition of time denotes when a thing or an event happened. It denotes when a thing or event had happened. For example, or the common prepositions of time are in, on and at. Let's see some examples so that you'll get clear cut idea how it denotes time. For example, my birthday is on 5th December. Here on denotes the time. When is my birthday? It denotes the time. It tells us when my birthday falls. Next one, my vacation ends on Monday. When does my vacation ends? It tells us the time. When is the time? It is on Monday. Another example, it is cold at night. So when it is so cold, it is so cold at night. It tells us the time. Now let's look at the second type, the preposition of place. The preposition of place denotes where an event or thing is seen. Okay. The common prepositions of place are in, on and at. The same thing, right? The preposition of time and preposition of same, you feel it as same, right? It is same, but it denotes different meanings in different sentences okay so the common prepositions of uh, places in on at up below under all these are prepositions that denotes place okay so for example the books are on the table here on denotes the place the place where the books are kept 
Now, the plane is just below the cloud. What is the plane? It's just below. Here, below is the preposition. Below the cloud. Okay. So, I hope you understood preposition of time and preposition of place. Okay. Now, let's move to preposition of direction. In which direction an event or thing is happening? So, preposition of direction denotes in which direction an event or thing is happening. So, the common prepositions of direction are to, into, of, from. All these are prepositions of direction. He went to London last week. So, here to is a preposition. It shows to which direction did he go or did he went. Okay. Now, next one. He went up the hill. Here up is a preposition of direction. It is a direction. And it shows to which direction he went. So, we learned three types of preposition. Preposition of time, preposition of place and preposition of direction. Preposition of time can be or examples of preposition of time as before, after, in, on, at. All these are prepositions of time. Prepositions of place can be below, under, above, in, on, at. All these are prepositions of place and preposition of direction to, into, of, from, etc. All these are prepositions of direction. Now all of you take your English grammar text, take page number 90 in your text. You have to fill in the blanks with suitable prepositions. Look at the first one. Alok was leaning dash the wall. So they have given you some prepositions in the list. You have to choose the suitable prepositions from that list and fill in the blanks. Okay. So which preposition will you use there? A lock was leaning against the wall. Against is the preposition. Next, Anil and Amit shared it between themselves. So here, between is the preposition. Next one, Rohit put the money dash his pocket. So Rohit put the money into his pocket. So here, into is the preposition. Next, Harsha shared happiness dash the people. Here it is among. Among is a preposition. The cat jumped over the wall. Here over is a preposition. So likewise you have to complete the rest of the exercises. You have to select the suitable prepositions from the list and fill in the blank. I hope you will be able to do it. Do it by yourself. Okay. Practice at home. So children I hope you understood today's topic clearly. That's all for today. Let's wind up the session. See you in the next class.